Cut Podcast, week 11 of the fall 2020 season. I'm your host, David, and joining me today, we have Stren. Hello! Next, we have Ku. Yo! And finally, we have Taylor. Hello! All right, and hopefully we'll get um, Brian and Sasha jump on later. But it's been a while since I've been here, so shout out to Stren for holding down the fort Thanks, while I was gone. Welcome back. Thank God you're back. <laughs> Dude, man, <laughs> uh, you thought he's pretty fine about me, so... It's- it's like you didn't even need me Fine, in the first man. place. God, that's, like my, that's like my mom. <laughs> <laughs> Which Damn. is disappointed in me. Damn. Thanks. So yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> so I don't know like what news was discussed while I was gone. So I'm assuming most important yeah, ones right. were. Um, I'm assuming Demon Slayer was talked about. Uh, yep. Second yeah. highest grossing box office in Japan, beating Titanic, and just behind I, I Spirit list- Away. I listened to um, uh, what was it? There's, there's this podcast I listened to. Uh, it's actually about sports, but they have like this guy that comes in and talks about shows or uh, movies, and he said he says that like in the next couple of weeks he thinks that uh, that Demon Slayer is actually going to be the number one grossing film in in Japan. In Japan, oh, it's it's time, pretty, it's yeah. really close. I think it's like 20, yeah. 20 million away, maybe. So Which as long as it was just cool. keep extending yeah, it. it, yeah. It was just cool to hear it because it was a normal, you know, it's a, it's a sports show, but yet they bring in a guy that talks about that t- normal talks about normal movies usually. But then he basically oh, brought well, Japan about how, like, you know, they're how they're just breaking like movie records. This yeah, year. breaking records during COVID, which doesn't make sense. Yeah. Oh, also, I guess I'll mention real quick too. Um, for uh, Violet, the new Violet Evergarden movie. Uh, I forgot when it came out, but it's like now it's like Kyoto Animation's second highest um box office behind Silent Voice. So seriously, yeah, oh, that, that, wow. whatever the new one is, I don't know, I don't know what the new what the new one is, but whatever that new one that came out, it did really well in Japan as well. So yeah, it's second highest behind Silent Voice or Kyoto Animation. I heard this new huh. one was better than the one we saw. <laughs> I mean, I actually still didn't mind that one, but I, I but I heard though that people said that this. Yeah, movie was I wasn't paying attention because I thought it was like some sort some side thing, but yeah, it's doing really well in Japan. Oh yeah. So. I didn't even realize there was a second one. Actually, I thought you were talking about the one that we saw. <laughs> no, that's a new one. Yeah, and then um, Fate the Fate Grand Order. First, first came out movie just came out. I think last weekend in Japan. I don't know how. Well, I think the number four, but it came out and then they announced yeah uh, part two of Camelot in the spring. So, yeah, a lot happening with anime movies. And then um, the only the other big one is um, is that they finally confirmed that uh, Sony is buying Crunchyroll, and so we already gave our thoughts for it. So I'm not gonna go too much into it. I'll just say that honestly, I'm I'd much rather have Crunchyroll be under Sony than under at and so <laughs> at least there's that so i'm hoping good point. Good point. i'm hoping it goes back to where like country Roll and foundation had, had that partnership but we'll see so that's just it for anime news um we're gonna jump right ahead to damachi yes. um also yes. so i watched this on friday and i'm gonna need some refresher of uh, what up where um they're like was it they're they're slowly trying to um get uh, all the monsters back into the dungeon, right? Yes. And yeah. uh, and uh, was it Bell? He, I mean, he just found. I no, all the other monsters just found the door. Oh no, no, no! Actually, I remember there was a cliffhanger with um Hermes. Yep. He trapped him yep. in that dead end. So yep. oh, I want to hear your thoughts on that. What the hell is all that about? Dude, I, I swear to God, like, because Hermes is like one of my favorite gods, or just one of my favorite characters in the show. If he becomes evil, I'm gonna be slightly pissed. <laughs> Uh, I definitely would not have ever seen that coming though, just because you know Hermes just what Hermes like you just never knew what he was doing. But I never actually saw him being evil, considering he works under a uh, um oh, what's that other guy's name? He doesn't work or- under him, but or or I... Baros, whatever. Oranos. Oranos, yeah. Oranos. Yeah. Um, yeah, where he talks to him, but then at the same time, you know, maybe Oranos has been you know evil this entire time. Who knows now? Maybe he just wanted to you know to finish the rest of Ama. Mm. Uh, but so I, I don't really know. I kind of thought like the whole epic, the whole part with the, with with Vina was pretty epic as well. Where Eyes was basically saying like, oh, with the claws and the and the and the wings, you're just basically gonna scare everybody off. You can't do anything. And then she basically just proceeds to rip every like everything off. <clears throat> and then it actually like one in a sense like where Eyes just basically just quit and walked off, which uh, which I mean, which I thought was like in itself was pretty awesome. But at the same time, like you just knew that even. Uh, Bell had absolutely no chance of beating Eyes. Um, and I, I, here I kept thinking, like, I think me and Ku, we kept, we, I think we were talking about, like, last week and the week before, it's like, oh, Harheem is going to come in the clutch and, like, buff up, buff up, uh, Bell. But she ends up buffing everybody else. <laughs> Everyone but the guy. 
I don't know. Do it's you think? Do you think the? You think it's a bait? Like when he says, "Like I'm gonna kill you all." Like you think it's baiting the audience or something to? Oh my god! Yeah, something else or? I really don't know because this season's actually been really good. <clears throat> that's uh, that's Taylor, but yeah, I know. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I don't know. If if anything, it kind of throws it back up in the air. Uh, you don't know which kind of direction they're going to go in at this point. Uh, the thing that I liked about the fact that Hermes kind of showed up and uh, kind of showcased kind of his evil side, it brought me back to my first impression of him back in season one. Because when he popped up in season one, you couldn't really tell if he was like a good guy or a bad guy. But then you could tell he's kind of a trickster with how he was always trying to like peep at the girls or just kind of just like following his own rules in a sense you know and then uh with this one i felt like he was too good and with this showcasing his like bad character it kind of just throws everything up in the air so i kind of like how they throw up this mystery aspect to you as, as well so yeah i have no idea what's going to go on but i'm sure like they'll they'll be fine i'll manage somehow because uh Aina couldn't really give that bracelet to bell which is what hermes wanted her to give to bell in the first place so I don't know if that's going to throw a wrench in her plan. Also, we still haven't seen the Black Minotaur yet, so we don't know yeah. if he's going to throw a wrench in the plan. Also, I mentioned that. Oh, yeah, we no, haven't seen... Fight somebody, though. Yeah, we haven't seen yeah. him yet. Although, I'll just say the, the bracelet. I thought... I thought... I don't know. I thought it was supposed to be on her. Like, I thought it was supposed to be a tracking thing for her or something. I don't know. Like, It sounded like it wasn't supposed to come off because she couldn't get it off herself. So I don't know if that well, was... Well, I don't know if, if it was even meant to go on her, though. Because wasn't it basically, like, shown, like... Wasn't she, like, carrying it or holding it, in a sense? But then, uh, wasn't it in a Did sense? She... I thought it was, like, accidentally put on. Okay. I don't yeah, remember so... she, I don't remember she put it on herself. Or... Yeah. The, the intention was for her to give it to Belle. That was the favor that she was going to... Uh, th- that was a favor that she had to promise him in order for Hermes to tell her where Belle was, right? Um, and then when she was trying to give it to him, it was stuck on her wrist. So, I don't know if it was intentional or not. But oh I'm assuming... God. It, it wasn't. So. Oh my god, Hermes is evil. <laughs> right. We'll I mean, see. He could be. But, but that's yeah. the thing, because we also had that cliffhanger of uh, Hestia dropping that uh, that book in the oh, yeah. yeah. And then it showcased well, that, something that would like surprise assume, Hestia. So. Well, the thing is, I think I, I think the book basically like probably just assumes that where they were being taken was a dead end. Right. And, yeah. yeah. That's why that's what I'm assuming what it is. So I'm guessing mm-hmm. Hestia will probably reach out to whoever she can. I don't right. know. I, I'm guessing Bell still has. Doesn't he still have a? Yeah, because it's with Vine. Yeah, okay. So yeah, they still have like one of those communication devices. Right. Dude, but oh from the look of it, it looks like <laughs> yeah, like, it looks like Fell's group is going to be SOL, but uh, Bell's group should be fine, I think. Well, it's just Bell and Vine right now because they're separated. Yeah. No, no, Bell, Vine, and Haruhime, they're with the right? uh, yeah Haruhime. They're with the 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 little bunny uh, and like this other monster, this little goblin, I believe. Oh yeah, okay. That's that's fine. I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah. So they're not completely out of luck. And then from the looks of it, uh, the Black Minotaur did tell him that uh, that this is for sure a door back into the dungeon, because that's how he got in and out supposedly. So it's a door that he's personally used before. And I was just gonna mention, like, wasn't Hermes like in the Greek myth? Wasn't he like a trickster? Yeah, I think that was Loki, wasn't it? I thought. I thought yeah, Loki was well, a trickster. I have well, no idea about Hermes. Loki's Loki's Norse. I'm talking about Greek. Oh, oh I, I have no idea. Oh. I mean, I'm just a degenerate, so okay. I don't know much about this lore. Okay. But, I mean, it would make sense, given what's going on, so. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. I felt like a lot cool. happened while I was gone. Like, I don't have much to say. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, the, like, the previous, like, I mean, I still think this was a really good episode. Like, I think, like, I still think like, this is I'm surprised they, they were episode. able to um keep, like, keep the plot going, even after, like, killing off, um, was it Dick? Whatever, like, like they still, they still <laughs> had like Dick, sir. Dicks, yes, yeah. they still had like yeah stuff to do. While I, di- I didn't even think about like the monsters being trapped, and then, and also um uh, the the other Amazon girl, I think Tione, whatever, like, like she kept like, like because she, she let she let Wiene go, but like she was saying, you know, you can't even understand me. And I'm just thinking like, man, couldn't just Wiene just talk and just like get get that misunderstanding out of the way? I was like, whatever. <laughs> That would just confuse me even more. I actually, thought, I thought that moment was pretty cool too, where she basically just let her go, and then she's like, "Huh, oh, I wonder if like this is how like Bell feels like all the time, but you know, or uses like Argonaut." And then of course, was it Tiona bust in, and then the, that whole th- situation happened. I was like, "Damn, I missed those characters." Yeah, was- I mean, I mean, if anything, I think Gil's fine. If, if we need a word to talk at that moment, I think it would have ruined the moment with Tione. So I think that's fine. I guess. Yeah, I, I'm just, I I'm just thinking like, yeah, just. 
Logically, logically, yeah, yes. Yeah. What's <laughs> anime, sir? Logic doesn't apply here. It's, right. it's Damachi, all right. Right. So. It has to follow the lines, kind of, and it's fine. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. But, uh, so, yeah, um, I mean, I, is is next week? Is that the last episode, or is it thirteen episodes? I don't even remember. So. Next week is the last one, I believe. Okay. I, I, I okay. can check again though, as like while we talk. But yeah. I'm pretty sure it is. Next week is episode twelve, so that's probably the last episode. Yeah, unless, unless it is thirteen, but I. For some reason, I thought I saw 12. Yep, it's 12. Okay, next oh, week okay. Is last so it is the last episode. Right. So I guess we'll figure out next week then. We'll see what mm-hmm. Hermes is all about. That son of a bitch. Do you think I they're going to end this season in a cliffhanger? I don't or do you know. think they're going to be able to wrap this up? I don't know. Mm-hmm. Like, like, I didn't even remember when like season 3 was announced. Like It felt so random. So didn't we'll they, see. They, didn't they announce it like right after season 2? I think there was a mo- uh, the movie no. first, and oh, then I think the after OVA. The, OVA, yeah. the, the OVA. OVA, but then like the movie came out, and then I think they announced it after the movie or s- some time. Mm. I thought they announced the movie, and then the movie announced the second season, and then the OVA announced the third. Season. I thought it was something like yeah. that. But anyway, was it? I thought the movie came out after the second season. Yeah. Nope. But doesn't matter. But okay. now I'm back I, to the wanting. I, I, no, don't, no. I don't remember. Okay. Yep. Now I'm back to like wanting another season with this show because it, it's brought <laughs> it back to me. And watch the fourth season is going to be like just four compressed arcs, like with two episodes each. I mean, I feel like yeah, af- I after mean, Z- Z- the Xenos, I feel like they have to talk about the gods by this point, like and doing something about the gods. Well, I mean, yeah, I, I mean, don't know how you want up it. Doing, yeah, if Hermes is like you know, be actually like let's say if he is actually evil or Uranus is evil, like they will have to start talking about that now. Yeah, for sure they have enough content for season four. Now we just have to see if it's uh, if it was popular enough for that. Yeah. Oh, I got it, though. Yeah. Well, yeah, I I, I, I like I like to think that like hopefully we're in we're in like a new age where like fantasy animes actually start to matter now compared to before where it was all about like selling the manga light novel. I think yeah. finally these fucking anime companies are realizing that like you need to sell it for streaming sites, and like yeah. they're starting to push for more more anime. Even yeah. even though we get even though it gets rushed like like Index did, so that that's hoping for too much, sir. So mm-hmm. I mean, we'll see. Yeah. One day, possibly. We'll One see. Day. We'll we'll see. So I think that's gonna be it for Damachi. Uh we're moving next to Higurashi. Ooh. Um uh, so so I so the two weeks I was gone, that was right at the start of the Sat- Satoko arc. So I guess mm-hmm. I guess I'll just try to catch up. But I guess the first thing I wanna say is like it's kinda weird how right off the bat, like, um was it, I think episode nine, whatever, like like they like they don't even introduce Shino and they just assume like everyone knew her since the beginning. Just, they just yes. act like she's been there from the beginning. I was like, okay, I guess I'll just yes. save the time for the audience. And then the only other thing is just like, man, this arc is just fucked up. Like, like it's it's too sad watching this with the uncle and Satoko. So I don't know. I wouldn't say sad. I'd say it's infuriating for me, but uh, that too. Yeah, but sad. Like Indeed. like seeing this little yeah. girl go through all this PT. All this traumatic stuff, so. But man, this week's episode though, it kind of made you feel like it's gonna go towards a good ending with with everything that's going on. I'm hoping that they don't debate us at the very end. Oh, I'll uh, also say that too. How like um, it's so like when Rika goes into her adult voice, like like the part more in the hallway where like she, she stops the teacher, she's like she just calls her Chie instead of just Shay Sensei or yeah. just Sensei. She just that's calls cool. her calls her Chie and does the adult voice. I'm like okay. Like, and you're not even gonna react to that. Just a little kid, just like talking in an adult voice, talking about your first name. But and then so I'll just curious. Uh, with with everything that's been happening so far with this episode, uh, did it kind of go away from the original story? Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay. I have, I have no idea what's going I've... on, and I actually looked it up online to see what people's thoughts were, just because I was so confused about what to think, and I ended up going down a tunnel, like because like this is basically like a sequel. That there were other anime adaptions that still came out after like the two main seasons that everybody talks about there's still like a continuing story and i haven't seen that stuff and i feel like we're getting into that territory because i have no idea what's happening like why she's referring to this world it seems like it could be over but it's not yet let's try to save it or even like how you just mentioned how she called the teacher chie and the teacher didn't react it it feels like on some subconscious level everybody is somehow aware of what's going on mm-hmm. and uh i have no idea what to say about that <laughs> yeah 
I assume like the like when um Keiji had that dream of him like taking the bat and like beating the uncle off like the moped. I assume that's the original, and he had the dream, and so I wonder. Yeah. I mean, I guess I was wondering if like if like Rika's original, if the the whole her original timeline was this one in the Satoko, like she really wanted to stop stop whatever was happening in Satoko. But I, I mean, I guess like the other timelines, like, like everyone died anyway, so I guess it wouldn't matter mm. as much. Yeah. So. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's 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 interesting. I'm I'm still not a fan of this timeline. I just don't like it, or not this timeline, but like this this arc. I don't know. I mean, I I get that it's sad, but it just it it will always feel off to me for Higurashi. But that aside, like, I I really don't know if this. It kind of feels like this could be like the final story for Higurashi because, like you were saying, it feels like this is going to have a happy ending. Because this is significant. Like, if you guys think this is dark, this is significantly less dark than the original. It, so. it, it feels less dark, kind of. Yeah. Like, well, yeah. it just feels like when, when um, uh, when Keiichi was stopping Shinon, like from all that, or just like, I don't know. Like, it was weird because he he made this big deal about like how he's got he's got to save everyone and do his best, and it still didn't work. So it's like I don't know. Well, 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 to be fair, it's not over yet. It's not they're over doing, yet, yeah. Yeah, they're doing a more civilized approach to it where it's supposed to be effective. Long run. Yeah. Where it's like, where even like Rika like starts believing him. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So we'll, we'll see how it, it turns out, but I don't know. Yeah, and then the thing that weirded me out too was um, when Kichi was having that speech with uh, Shion, he was kind of showing flashbacks of the last arc. Uh, so to me, that's kind of weird. Is, I feel like as if all the timelines are kind of merging together. Like he's kind of remembering memories from his past life or like a different parallel world. Uh, so I wonder if Rika, like that's having Rika's like change in her personality come to play as well. So I found that to be really weird. And then, and then yeah, like with Shion as well. Like all of a sudden she she's in class now. She was there eating lunch with them. Yeah. So that was really weird. That's and then like you mentioned with the fact that she's showing up and everyone knows who she is all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. I thought that was really weird. Yeah, um, it was. But yeah, I just wanted to see if those like like similar in the original route or if this is something that's completely different. So if it is, I guess that would kind of make sense. But um it's it's the story's not being as consistent as I would like it to be, but it's still uh, done fairly well, I think. I was gonna say, like, whenever they do, like, these multiple routes, like, yeah, for some reason, like, they don't give explanation, they don't give good explanations on why certain people get, like, memories of the timeline. It's always, like, the main character and then someone else, but they never give any like, good reasons. So there shouldn't be mm -hmm. no reason why Keiji gets them, because, like, it's Rika that, like, that we have to scene with. But, mm -hmm. yeah. So I, I just draw that back to anime logic or just because he's the main character that's why he gets them right oh and then did you guys catch that last scene with the detective at the end yeah Dude, he's... oh man just when, <laughs> just when you're creepy all, he's like, he's all, like hopeful and shit yeah just when you were getting all hopeful and shit they showcased him just like walking down with that yeah, he's like he went style. full creep this arc like <laughs> i didn't i didn't even mind him the last who was like whatever like you're just trying to do your job but then this arc he's, he's so sketchy now so mm -hmm. i don't know like dude i'm starting to get the vibe that uh everything that they're doing is is for naught because i think satoko is probably either dead or gravely injured at this point because it's taken them like what two or three days to get all this uh going and they haven't oh just... yeah so i wonder if it's too late and then like uh oishi is going to be that that nail in the coffin for this arc because so. I think that's actually a really good prediction. Yeah. I could see that totally being true. Because right. now that I think about, it, I think the la the the main characters of the past two arcs have died by the end of the last by the last episode. So I'm assuming yeah, should yep. probably die, or maybe be dead. So so I want I guess maybe like maybe this arc like they'll realize they failed, and then I assume the next arc is with Rika, and then Rika, I guess it's like up to her. Like they'll start moving more of the story. Because I guess well, I wonder. Well, I wonder if this would cause Rika to kind of like go into like a hysterical mode, right? Because she she's having hope that this world can be changed and it can be saved, but even after trying her best and still failing, I wonder if this is her down a route of despair. Because I'm not sure how her route was in the original anime series, but uh, maybe this is where it starts to get completely different. I'm, I'm not sure. It feels like it gets completely different here. Hmm. 
That, that's what it feels like to me. Yeah, I just because like I said, I had to, I had to, I had to go down quite a few Wikipedia articles to figure out what's going. Because I mean, I feel comfortable with it because at least I've seen the first two seasons, so I know I've missed some stuff. And I thought I understood some things that I think I didn't understand that got expounded on and and stuff that I haven't seen. So I feel like this is really pretty drastically different from the original. But um, we'll see how it goes. I mean, I'm okay with the inconsistencies because you'd mentioned before that you didn't always like some of that stuff. And that's kind of what I expect from Higurashi. Like I expect it to not really make any sense and constantly contradict itself throughout it throughout the whole thing. Um, but I think that just in general, like the overall tone of this season feels like a final one because out of everything that I've seen from it, it, ju- it is just like some, even if, even if like we find Satoko dead in the next episode, you know, she's been dead this whole time. I still feel like it will, it feels like it's leaning towards a happy ending in the very end of the show, if not this world. Hmm. But I could be wrong. We'll see. I just, I wonder mm-hmm. like, yeah, because Actually, yeah, because Satoko, actually, because I think it's still 26 episodes, so we, I think after Satoko's arc, it'll be the, for this season, and then we have, I can only think of, like, it's just Rika and maybe Keiichi, and then we'll have maybe one final pro epilogue arc. I don't know, we'll see. So we'll see. We'll see how they handle it. Mm-hmm. So Maybe it'll be like the original, and they'll just have a bunch of answer episodes. Because that's oh, basically oh, what yeah. they did the first time around. That's what mm-hmm. that's what these animes love. They love having these answer episodes. I forget. It's, it's been a while since I watched like these like these visual novel <laughs> shows, so I forgot. That's like you know throwback to the mid two thousand shows. No, that'd be pretty cool. I like having mm-hmm. answers. So, Me too. <laughs> so we'll see. All right. So I think that's gonna be it for um, Higurashi. And then next, um, I think is Standing on a Million Lives. So yes. I'll pass that over to Trent and Ku. Oh yeah. man, so uh, I thought this was the wrong anime when I <laughs> turned it yep. on. The first yep. time. Same. I had it. I skipped through like half the episode just to make sure. I was like, okay, I'm fine. Oh really? Oh yep. okay. Yeah. I mean, I went back to the beginning after I found out it was actually you know what I was right. supposed to be watching. So. Yeah, I don't know. Like with, I'm so confused with this episode. I mean. I had a lot of issues with this one, I, but then towards the end, though, I thought I got actually a lot better. Um, I mean, it just gave you more questions, really. Yeah, we, oh yeah, definitely. But but the beginning part of it, though, the, the part that I had issues with it because the previous episode showed all the main characters that were basically in the snow, completely just piled up with snow, mm-hmm. um, where they just look like you know they were just done. And right. then this episode, though, they look like they had just no snow on them. They look just all of a sudden just fine, like they snapped out of it. I'm like, wait, what the hell just happened with these characters? Mm-hmm. And then, um, what is it? The same thing with, uh, uh, so that, that whole part, I oh, actually, I actually wrote down notes for this, I believe. Okay. Just because, uh, just because it was just like the, the whole thing. Um, cause we, that, that was the whole part that I had issues with it. That, you know, where we, we knew that like that main, that one warrior girl was dead. She just basically gave up <laughs> before everybody else. It seems <laughs> like. And then, um, the issue I had was that with the the magician girl to, or the mage girl when the, the like the mage warrior, whatever she has, where she's standing on ice, and I'm just like like how okay, there's no way in hell this ice would be this thin. That it 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 just it just didn't make any sense to me. Like right there, I was like, come on, that, that oh, it, it kind of makes sense because remember it just started snowing once they left the town. So I mean, as already, it for too like, long. Yeah. already the snow just coming out of nowhere, I thought was just dumb. Where it's just like, oh, it's supposed to be like a flash snow thing, but yet there's yetis. <laughs> Like where yeah. they just look like they were like where they were like up front, like we just knew. Yeah. It's almost like they just like hibernate and then all of a sudden it just starts songs like, all right, now's my time. Mm-hmm. And then they just go on from there. Uh but uh, and then also like in that, that one the one lady's playing the 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 fire, the fire mage, where she, where I, I started laughing when they, they have like those two kind of like magical magical girls. I can't remember what they were. It's like, oh like what happened with the first pink girl when she when she died? It's like, what about the next one when she died? I'm like, what the hell's going on with these shows? They never died. They're about to get wiped out. I think that's yeah. a translation yeah. error. Because it always okay. It was. It must have been because it just. But there was like three pink. Like when they actually show like all the characters. Like I swear there was like three pink girls. So I just assume like for some reason you just don't want to be pink in that show because it seems like that's the magician girl that dies. Nope. The only, the only purple girl seems like she's just fine. But anyway, I thought that was kind of ridiculous and I, I just started laughing. But then. Uh, yeah, I don't know, but then the ending, like when they kind of like with the when they were able to drop the question just about the whole thing when you found out that it's actually not 
a virtual world and it's actually in like a legitimate world. Yep. I thought that was like, oh damn, this could get actually get fairly interesting. And of course, I you know the MC is already showing like he's a uh, uh, kind of slightly losing it and you know, losing his mind right now, a bit. Yeah, so I guess it's kind of setting up for season two at this point because I'm assuming the next episode is going to be him trying to pick himself back up with the help of his friends and them trying to figure out why they're still here. Because as of right now, it's going to end in like an awkward spot, I think. Right? Um, I mean, what's what's really... What could you possibly do on the last episode? Uh, it up for next season? Yeah, with the right. pace that they're on, except for setting up for next season. So yeah, yeah that's what it's going to be because they they just completed this quest, so now they're just waiting in real life until they get summoned for the next quest. I think. Right. That's basically what it is. Dude, but I was really hoping for um the the glass wizard girl, the the fire wizard. I was really hoping for her to actually find inspiration from this and actually be useful, but she's still <laughs> just as useless as she was before, and now she's <laughs> even creepier with the way that she's always like fantasizing about these like. Uh, male visual novel guys or or magical girls or whatever who are hey, kind whatever. of guys at the end so whatever gets you through it whatever gets you through uh i guess but Just then that's times. but then also they didn't really explain who that other player character was because she did say that she was a player as well right or or not really no, she wasn't a player, but she she knew of them. She knew of them. So I don't know if she's just like maybe like a sage or just somebody who just can't die, and she's just been there for like through the times. Yeah, like forever. But then the weird part yep. was she knew she knew that uh, the fire wizard girl was a, a player. Yep. So it's not something that you can usually pick up right away from from what I know. But I guess we won't find out till next episode. I mean, there's a few warning signs when you have just like a random person that's a maid just <laughs> walking around in a snowstorm. In the, in the middle of nowhere. I don't know about that. I mean, I don't know. I could be just kind of giving it too much credit. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, no, it's just that kind of storytelling that kind of turns you off. Like they're yeah. doing so well until like these last, like this episode, and then the last ten minutes of the last episode. So, yeah. I'm, I mean, I'm I'm still liking it quite a lot. Just the beginning of the episode where I'm like, okay, th- mm-hmm. they baited us a little too much with the pre, like the ending of the previous episode. Mm-hmm. When that's it's not actually like you know how it was, uh, but th- but then it was like towards the end though, like I'm a little bit more interested just with uh, just how things are kind of uh coming out where it's just like they're just in another world like in a different time, and they're actual people. They're not you know like uh they're not um uh digital. They're, so he right. you know the MC did actually set somebody ablaze. Yep, and let him die. So we'll we'll see how he deals with that. I got nothing else. But I, yeah. yeah, but I'm pretty much just agree that they're just gonna, the MC is gonna have to get his mind straight, and they're just gonna set it up for the next quest. Yeah. Do you think That's this it. can be season two though? I don't think there is. I can't imagine us getting the season two to be honest. I, I don't know. There's a lot of these guys I can't really see getting second seasons, but yet they, a lot of them still somehow do. <laughs> Dude, bring so back overly cautious hero. That's what I'm waiting for. Oh. That guy's working oh. on another project, sir. Yeah, his, yeah, I know, he, I know, I know. his other, yeah, I was gonna say his other. Which actually is good. His I, other I one got an anime. I don't know it's good, good trend, oh but God. probably not. It's at, it wasn't like a harm. I'm pretty sure it's, it's like a sort of harm. Like, yeah, another, it's like ridiculous harm. So, yep. like, like oh. from what I've heard from Ku in that comedy, I'm gonna like his work. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get on that. Yeah. But, uh, well, that's all I got for this. Yeah. I'm good, too. All right. Sounds good. So I guess that'll be it for um, Standing on Million Lives. And then more moving next to Ikebukuro Westgate. So, yeah, let's go back to the random cases, random stories. And I've just realized <laughs> every time he's he, he starts off the, the episode with, uh, like, like some kind of like deep monologue and he says this is one of those stories like you can mm. tell it's a filler arc so <laughs> it's like oh god damn it man what happened to the, the seriousness what happened to the closure you know i thought we were going to stick to one storyline and then just mesh all the characters that you met before <laughs> into the story but nope we got something brand new guys brand new so uh i don't know what, what, what so was i liked this episode <laughs> Um, I thought uh, it was. I thought I wanted to hate it though. I actually disliked it pretty heavily up through like halfway, three quarters of the way through the episode, because like I don't know. I te- like personally, this is just a me thing, but I get a little bit triggered by like, like if somebody is 
if somebody okay like the, the whole point of this episode was that they were makoto was working for a client who wanted makoto to be what is it called when you um do that to somebody's knees isn't there a word for it take them like out cap cap is it just cap there cap cap somebody or something hair to the knee <laughs> sure <laughs> I, i'm so, not sure <laughs> so she was, so she hired him to do that to somebody because the that person that she wanted him to do it to had done the same thing to her brother and it was just basically in a mugging and he'd gotten almost no money out of it so her brother was um like basically disabled and he had to quit the job that he'd had because he wasn't physically able to do it anymore and it was essentially pointless because he hadn't had any money on him worth mugging anyways Mm-hmm. And so that was the whole point of the episode. And then the sister wanted to hire Makoto to take out the guy because he was very young. He was 18 or under and he'd just gotten out of juvie. And so he was out on the street again and she was upset. And then he, like Makoto's whole thing was, well, you know, two wrongs doesn't make a right is basically like the argument for all these types of things. And I'm sitting here like, yeah, take him out. Like this guy fucking deserves it. And like, okay, the thing that just, made me mad halfway through was that then you of course they made it so that the guy was the the guy who had originally committed the crime had been struggling and he'd been bullied and he didn't have any money and all this other stuff so you're supposed to feel sorry for him and i did which is even more annoying but like there's so many shows where uh like they have that whole where they have that that like moral and a lot of times the person actually did do something wrong so i was a little bit triggered the whole time because i was like okay Sometimes people really do just do bad things and, and you know, it doesn't always have to take this route. But all of that aside, by the time that I got to the end and they were, ha- they like, they eventually had it where the, the guy who committed the original crime met with the guy that he'd done the crime to with the brother. And by the time it got to that point and they were airing out their issues and coming to under like to understand each other and what had happened in their individual lives. I liked it. I thought it was. I thought it was sweet, and I thought it was well done. So I liked the episode. I'm sorry you didn't like it, Koo. Yeah, because uh, at the end, I was like, uh, you know, this guy didn't really get the justice he deserved. Um, I, like I know, the brother? Yeah, like, I know that, you know, an eye for an eye makes the world go blind, but, uh, you know, may- maybe the world needs to go blind for a bit, right? Just, just Dude, I know. No, normally I would totally agree with you. Like, I'm always the one that's like, take him out. <laughs> like, like, I'm definitely that personality. And so that's why it annoyed me when they were like, oh, he had all these reasons for doing it. But like, they were pretty convincing reasons. <laughs> I mean, I'll, I, like, I get it. It was, it, was, it was very emotional. And then like, mm-hmm. they did get that point across. But uh, maybe maybe with my point of view, it just didn't work on me. I need something more extreme, I guess. Um, but if if you want to go back to like last week's episode of how the city, how this city in itself is kind of a place where where people meet nice people and they get they they get healed up or in a sense like that and like makoto is kind of like the embodiment of the city and like its philosophies i guess i can kind of see why this is how it played out but Mm -hmm. like yeah me personally i i was kind of hoping for a different ending there so i didn't really enjoy it as much but yeah the 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 way the story was told and how they portrayed all the characters i thought it was fairly well done Mm -hmm. I can I can completely understand where you're coming from, Koo, because that that's how I felt almost the whole time, and that's to- totally normally how I would feel from it too. Right. I, I for some reason this show I just it just clicks with me, and I'm just like, oh yeah, let's have it be this way. This is the right way, even though I would normally not feel that way. I I don't know why, but I I can. You're not wrong, because I mean he basically he I mean he's basically still in a crappy situation, and he he really got nothing out of it. Like the kid is still gonna be fine eventually i mean i understand that he was bullied and i understand that that's hard and it sounds they didn't go into the details but it sounds like he's just got you know quite a few problems in his personal life um but it 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 really felt like he he would be able to move on past all that and live a normal life but the brother still had to give up his dream and that was sad so i mean you're you're not wrong at all yeah Um, and and in terms of like the episodic thing yeah, this was totally different. I don't know when they're going to wrap this stuff up. Like, what's going to happen next week? Because it's the last episode. Yeah, if, if anything, it'll probably just be, like like I said, like how Makoto and uh, how Takeshi uh, met up, I guess. I don't I don't know. Yeah, You don't, you don't know what's happening anymore. It's just, uh, my game wars. <laughs> Where's my game wars? 
something that actually like I don't know. All I all I, all I gotta say is the guy who wrote the synopsis for this needs to get fired. <laughs> That's all I'm asking for because he Jeez. debated me so hard. They Holy moly! So hard. It's kind of like a uh, death parade. Like you just. Mm, you were expecting something, and you got something completely different. And it was, it was, it's still okay, but uh, I feel bamboozled. You know, like. <laughs> I, Wait, are you talking about just like the opening sequence for Death Parade, or the actual summary? No, the synopsis of uh, why why I would like look into an anime. Like I would watch it thinking that the synopsis was telling the uh, I was going to give like a nice outline of what the show is about, and then you go with it expecting that, and it's something completely different. So. Hmm. I have to look into what the synopsis for Death Parade was, because I know that people definitely, for sure, felt debated by the opening. Mm -hmm. Um, Also, I feel like, and this is something I kind of find charming about Ikebukuro, maybe I just missed it. I was going to go and rewind it, but I decided I didn't care enough to double check. But, like, sometimes the direction of this show is just a little wonky. Like, Mm -hmm. because Makoto had gone and talked to um, the the kid. I can't remember his name, but the one who'd done the crime. And he was like, Okay, if you, you can become a G-boy if you want, and we'll take care of you and, you know, whatnot, but you have to, like, go do these things before we do that. And then Takashi showed up out of nowhere before the guy had done those things, and he's like, you're a G-boy now. (laughs) I was like, what just happened to the last three minutes of this conversation? Where did you come from? Don't you have things to be doing? (laughs) Like, it was just a little bit weird. Like, the direction of the show sometimes, like... Normally, I kind of let stuff like that slide, but that whole moment just it felt super weird to me. It's just, it's just. No, remember he said that he was being kept busy because of the Red Angels, so he was busy mm-hmm. and he just happened to be there. So. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I know, and that's another weird thing too. Now that you mentioned that, it's like, are you? I thought everything was cool with you guys. Definitely doesn't seem like there's any gang wars happening. So what are you talking about? Yeah, maybe we'll finally get that leader versus leader action that we've been looking for. Especially with what they showed in the opening, so yeah. I don't a special know. hour long special next week. Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that, but I don't know. And if you really want to nitpick the show, like I feel like the show in itself is very preachy about like how great Japan is, but <laughs> but the but the uh, what the kind of the messages that they're kind of like uh, throwing out there for you, right? Like, oh, if you're in trouble, you know, just join a gang, <laughs> <laughs> or like. Hey, if you go apologize to him and cry your heart out, you know, like he'll forgive you, you know, or like it's okay to let a guy beat you up, you know, like fuck up your kneecaps and then you know ruin your dream as long as he comes and apologizes. Like, like, like I said, maybe it's a little biased, but a lot of the messages that was like thrown out there with this week's episode, like I, if I wanted to nitpick it, I, I could. Like it's it's <laughs> yeah. really, uh, it's really bothersome for me, but that's that's me. So yeah, this week was a. Uh... I, I like the episode, but I would definitely put this on the lower end of the tier list of the episodes for the season. I oh, completely yeah. understand where you're coming from. Uh, we'll see what happens. We've only got one more left, so it'll be interesting to season finale. I don't I don't even know. <laughs> I swear to God, if they open up next week's episode with that saying that he always does, I'm just gonna lose it. <laughs> I was like, what was the point of watching, what was the point of watching this show? <laughs> like, what really was the point? Ugh. But, so you can go yeah, we'll see. read the original novel. Like uh, you know, I I enjoyed myself. This is a good thirty minute a week I spent on this show. You know. But... Oh yeah, I mean, there's a lot of stuff that's just flat out worse than this. But I just I, I think that the thing that frustrates me so much about it is just that there was so much opportunity here for them. Like there was so much potential, and it just feels missed. And so I think that's why I find it frustrating. Mm-hmm. And I think that's basically why you find you you feel debated, but it seems like you also feel like there was potential here that like uh, either even if it was on one end or the other, like gangs or like these separate side stories, like yeah. pick one and make it strong. Um, but yeah, maybe so... David's right. Maybe read the light novels and you'll get it from that. Oh, it's, it's originally an actual novel, so you have to do way more reading than a light novel. Right, right, right. The source is oh. not. Like, but yeah. get this right. The genre for this show is mystery drama and romance romance in all, in all well, reality <laughs> you can literally just put down slice of life and it would fit well just to be fine. to be fair those, those... it's not a slice of life it's, it's definitely a like a mystery life. drama okay to be fair <laughs> to be fair Koo, that's, that's those those <laughs> tags episode little pocket size mystery <laughs> okay Koo, to be fair those tags are at the discretion of the website not like the show or 
whoever made it. So it's the website's fault because they put it on themselves. Well, well fine. Uh, the editor, he needs to get fired too, all right? <laughs> Standing right. <Holy. laughs> That ain't right. Where's where's the where's the drama? Where's the mystery? Where's, where's romance? The romance? There's no romance. Like this is not a romance yeah. show unless there's some sort of yeah. There's no romance. Oh god. Yeah, like I said, I don't know. I I feel like uh, I was misled here. <laughs> I think that's it, David. Okay. Sounds like you got all your your grievances with Ikebukuro Westgate out of the way. Yep. Um, we're going next to uh, Moriarty. I have no idea what's going on in the show, even when I was here. So I just, I just asked, is so, it good? So Stratton was asking me earlier what my favorite shows are of the season. And I got to say, Moriarty is up there. Like, I really like Moriarty a lot. I can't, like, I don't know. Like, I feel like there's some personal discretion there of just, like, people's taste and stuff like that. And, like, I don't really know how many shows have been done that have similar themes before. I haven't seen as much anime, I don't think, as any of you guys have, but I really like this show a lot. Like, especially like the most recent episodes where Moriarty and Sherlock are starting to clash against each other and they're setting up like basically challenges against each other. I told Threaten that it kind of reminds, it does kind of remind me of Death Note, but like watered down, like a kid version of Death Note. Like it's not as well done as Death Note, so (laughs) keep that in mind. Um, But it reminds me of that. Like I get the same kind of excitement from it that I did get from Death Note. but because, like, the stakes aren't quite as high as it was with that show, it's just a little bit more of, like, a casual, enjoyable watch with some of those elements. And, like, all the characters are very likable and interesting, and I just feel like it's just such a well-packaged show. Like, the opening's great, the ending's great, the art is great, the voice acting is great. Um, yeah, I just really like it a lot. I'm very much looking forward to the next season. I'm super happy that we get 24 episodes of it, because oh, I'd be sad 24. to say goodbye. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, this gonna, whole season oh go ahead i was gonna say um so i guess like for anime i guess like is not i don't know how i don't think it's as common with anime but i'm pretty sure there's, there's plenty of manga that's similar to this which is why like you know i usually enjoy manga because there's more like there's more diversity and there's more like more different story types so i'm pretty sure there's plenty of manga similar to like the back and forth like this mm-hmm. it's just that, like it's yeah it's hard for it to get anime so this is this uh this uh, Moriarty, it's on the monthly shonen like magazine, so like, oh, okay. So it's is I it guess, still running? I don't remember. Do you know? It's either I don't know if it's still running on the print or the digital. It might be on the digital version, but like it was it was on the monthly, um yeah the monthly shonen mag shonen jump magazine, like okay. Jump Square or whatever. So mm-hmm. yeah, I mean, I just I think it's really great. Like it's definitely up there. I mean. If please don't hate me guys, but like if we were to compare like like the entirety of like this whole season of like Q to Moriarty, I would pick Moriarty. <laughs> there have been some episodes no, of no Q that I have liked way more, but like overall I have no say I in go this. Into the show, <laughs> I go into the show each week knowing it's gonna be solid and it's gonna be consistent and I'm gonna like it. So I mean that's where it's at. And this, uh, lo- my last comment on it is this whole se- the- this first um, 11 episodes has been, it basically feels like a prologue, like giving you uh, like a back history of Moriarty and what he's doing and why he's doing is it. it like, and now it's like them clashing. Oh, so it's like, yeah, the, the setup for Sherlock. Mm-hmm. And I like the fact that it spent so much time setting it up so that you really do care about like all the characters involved going forward. Cause now it feels like we're actually getting into the meat of it and so I'm very excited for the next 12 episodes. That's it for me. Okay. Um, so the... also, I, don't, I don't blame you for, uh, I don't blame you for uh, IQ. I, I told you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So it feels so bad saying it. It's not like I enjoy saying it, you know? <laughs> so I think that's going to be it for Marty. We're going to move on next to Jujutsu Kaisen. Um, I was... What? <laughs> The guy didn't die. He's not oh, dead. Um, he loves the bad. Yeah, I already forgot his name, damn it. The... That's no. Hanami. Is it? Wait, is it? I don't know. Yes, uh, Nanami Kento. Nanami? Okay. Yes, Nanami. Okay. Not Hanami. Right, Nanami. Okay. Nanami yep, Kento. Okay. okay. Um, so, I just want to say, like, usually, I guess, because um, I wasn't here for the previous ones, I'll say, like, for the kid they introduced, like, usually, 
I don't really care about like these kids who like get caught up in all this and they're usually like like especially if they're bullied and they usually they get involved and like they have you know they're 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 edgy and like they want everyone to die like usually I don't care but I actually feel bad for this kid because he was he was getting better and he was making friends with Yuji and then of course he gets fucked over by like the villains so it's bro, actually when his mom died, what a depressing ass when his mom died I was hurt bro I felt that <laughs> yeah that was sad. <laughs> She was such a good character. Yeah, I mean, there's not many times where your where your mom just like it's like oh, I'm just skipping school, and your mom's like, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Like, I'm sure like find me another that's, that's okay with that, dude. Oh my god. I mean, uh, pretty sure she was to type to skip school when she was that age too. Maybe. She she know that. Get out of here. She could have been a scholar. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that is me and David. Okay. <laughs> She's dead too. That's rude. Yeah. So rude. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I was just happy though that once like uh, because like well first like I I, I was like um when he just just uh, lopped off that dude's like and he's just like all right that's enough and just kind of walks away I was like wait why what the fuck are we doing and then you just find out he was like more uh more injured hmm. uh, or I'm assuming that's why they stopped that's my guess yeah I I I'd agree like this man like molded his like was it his right side of his body it's with, like some shit and this man was bleeding like crazy i was like god damn oh it was respect characters too that basically they just want to get it done like in just like one massive ass blow too so <laughs> they basically oh, yeah. are up 100 percent for the blow and then hopefully they, then it just works out yeah yeah i mean he did give his approach as to how he would have dealt with the situation and given the fact that he was injured that was probably the only way he could have escaped so yeah that was pretty interesting also he did try to blurt out his uh, his moves, uh, like his ability as well, and I guess it kind of threw the guy in for a loop as to like why he's like telling him what his ability is. It works. <laughs> yeah, apparently it works. So okay. that's, that's pretty crazy. Oh man, but I don't know. I wonder if he like if he's gonna suffer like a major injury that's gonna cause him to like be out of commission for a while, because they didn't really showcase his injury, right? He was basically just bandaging the the wound that was bleeding. So. Yeah, but wasn't he already there? Wasn't he already there though with the uh, with the uh, the MC? Who I'm talking about the ending of the episode or what? When I'm they're at the school, it was yeah, only, it was only Yuji at the school. They didn't show anyone else. Oh. Yeah, I'll just oh. Yuji. I think okay. I think like oh. Yuji and the assistant like were called on to keep an eye on the other guy. I forgot his name, but like oh. Junpei. Junpei, yeah. I think they're only them. I think maybe um. Like not I mean he, he was like he was on standby for the other um the other villain. Who I, I thought the other villain I thought he was human by the way. I didn't realize he was actually like a cursed spirit all along. So Same. Oh, yeah. really? I, thought, I thought he was a, a sorcerer too, wasn't he? No, he's he's a cursed spirit that just like what, the the patchwork looking dude? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that guy's definitely a cursed spirit. Oh yeah, no, yeah, he's not. Oh human. no, no, I thought you were talking about uh the, the other, other guy. guy. Yeah, well that General. other guy is, is a sorcerer, but I thought the patch. Oh, okay. I thought patchwork guy was human at first. Yeah. Mahito. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mahito. Mahito. Okay. Yeah, I thought it was human too. So after the fight last week, it made sense. Wait, you guys thought he was human? Dude. I thought he was human. Like, no yeah. way. No way in hell was he human. <laughs> he was just been like, stitched up from something else, you know? Yeah. Just Kurt's energy. Dude, I'll call him. <laughs> I'll call him Frankenstein's monster the whole time, bro. There's well, no I wasn't way. here. All right, <laughs> so. Oh my goodness! I I guess, just no, nah, he's not. You know, yeah, you know whatever, man. <laughs> That's fine. <clears throat> That's it. But I guess like David, like I, you've been gone for a couple weeks. What was uh kind of your thoughts about like these last few few episodes? Um, it was more focused on like on Junpei. So, so I felt actually it, it, the story made me felt bad for him when I usually don't feel bad for these characters. Cause I'm usually like, man, why are you here? You don't like this. You have nothing to do with this. Like, get out of the story. But I guess like, it's in the main story, yeah. yeah. So I feel bad for him. I wonder how they're gonna. Res- I don't know, if, like, if they're gonna make him fight Junpei. If oh yeah, because they're saying how like like the whole thing about like like Jun- like Yuji doesn't want to kill. So I wonder if this is supposed to like force him to kill Junpei, because he's like, whatever, like infected with like the cursed energy now. Because I don't. What I'm like. Yeah, I think they're, it's got to be leaning towards that. Like, it's got to force him to kill Junpei. I don't see them, like, facing off, like, um, like the patch guy. He seems way too strong. 
So the for like right now, yeah. If it's only Yuji, yeah. I yeah. So it seems like they gotta just they gotta just kill y- Junpei and then and then go to the the tournament arc. So Brian thoughts? what? Brian thoughts? Uh, it's pretty much just the interaction between Yuji and Junpei. Yeah. But Junpei, rest in peace, his mom. Such a cool <laughs> character. Too soon. Yeah. Too soon, but uh, I guess to get things rolling, it was, it was, it was kind of fucked how they did it. They were like, yeah, her bottom half of her body just got lopped off. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> That's so fucked up. They just left her in the bed. I was like, damn. That's some serial killer type shit. Yeah, they moved her to the bed because she was like out. They were out in the. I think I think the, the 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 monster like ate her and then like he, Junpei found it and he was trying to save her. So he, and he put all like the ice packs on her. Oh, all mm-hmm. right. Yeah, but the weird part is that there was no blood found or traces of it. It was just. Yeah. You know. Yeah, that is weird, but. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, it's a good episode. Good build up. This is a good build up, connection episode. No real yeah, complaints. Was. So then, uh, basically, just waiting for. So I'm guessing. Do we know? Is this show taking a break mid season? Or you know, like, I, I don't think, know. Uh... I don't. It sounds like they're keep going. So I'm assuming yeah, I think they're, they're gonna, gonna keep going. Keep going. Yeah. Okay. Nice. So. Go with that. I'll take it. Yeah. But I mean, really good. Nothing else. It's basically just like the you know whatever happens with Yuji and Junpei next week. Yeah. I, again, the MC with like. The references to other yeah, shit, right. like Cast Away. Dude. Cast Away. Oh yeah, that was pretty funny. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Perfect. Well said. Yeah. Well said. Yeah, that was good. I, was, I, keep, I love the MC. Yeah. He's awesome. I'm yeah. surprised they keep getting away with these references. Like, I don't know how, but they. Uh, they... Dude, that's what I was saying before, man. Like, how are they not like in trouble? I mean, you can there? reference things without it being a problem, right? Directly. For, I mean, I don't know. fair use, I'm but sure stuff, stuff like this. I think stuff like this is direct copyright, so. Because if you think about it, all the animes, when they clearly are showing McDonald's, it's called something else. It's like, like yeah, because like they're Arnold afraid of copyright. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Some sort of like fine line then. Like they, they, I'm sure that they probably know like uh, like what they can and cannot reference. I'm assuming like somehow like Shonen Jump, whatever, is connected to one of the publishers in the movies. That's how they keep doing it. But I don't know. Maybe they can't just use like the, the actual titles of like whatever like businesses or anything like that. Maybe that's why um, they always use like McDonald's or Jungle. But or, they, they, or, yeah, they, I, I, they, I, they directly reference Jennifer Lawrence though, so and Lor- and she doesn't have her, well, and, and Frodo as well. So yeah, mm-hmm. I feel like when it comes to like movie shows and film, I feel like that's okay and like fair use. But once it goes to like businesses and like chain stuff, then that's that's yeah, yeah, corporations. That's when you start getting into problems. Hmm. It's because they can like just fucking. Because if you say something wrong about a company like McDon- like McDonald's, let's say, for example, <laughs> yes. they used to be like, oh, McDonald's is like the worst thing ever. But they say McDonald's, they could do like, like what is it called? Uh, uh, defamation or something and get sued. So Oh, slandering or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Stuff like it's because the so. people don't, they, they cannot connect McDonald's to McDonald's. Apparently not. But it doesn't matter. It, it's yeah. not the same thing. Ronald McDonald. Yeah. Yes. Unless there's other stuff. I mean, like I'm not a lawyer. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just. Yeah. Well, also, also copyright laws are different in Japan as well. So, but, but besides that, I think that's it for yeah. Jujutsu Kaisen. So hopefully, I think next episode will be huge. So hopefully we'll, we'll get to see that. Um, remember next to Haiku. This is the one show I'm not caught Ooh. up with still. So you guys can have at it. Oh, Second my. episode of the season. This is so good. Hinata is the real MVP. I love him, and I'm back into the show. <laughs> <laughs> this episode is so good. He was so awesome. Oh my god. I love this man. That one scene, right? He says, "I got it." <laughs> yes. Longest, longest bump into the air gets everybody to calm down. I was like, dude, this guy. I don't know if he intentionally planned this or not, but this guy has come so far from just the power hungry monster of a freak of a kid <laughs> to just calm headed be like i got it and just let everybody calm down dude Brian, what were your what were your thoughts when they showed skishima just barely barely bop up that ball did you think it was gg at that point i had dude i i had no doubt that they were winning like they're 100 percent winning this this match so i was like dude there's no way they're fucking this up but sometimes there's a hard like butthole clenching moments but you know <laughs> 
I was like, do they have to win this, right? They have to. <clears throat> and then uh, was it the, the was a captain just kind of just comes in and just brute strengths it over the net. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like Daichi is so clutch all the time. Like, what would they do without him? <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna lie. That was he's always like there at like yeah. I think every season. He's always a clutch guy to bring him back. Yeah, he's never the one that shines. Like he's not like you know the sparkly one, but he will always have your back. He's, he's so damn solid. reliable. He's legit, just solid like all around defender slash player. Mm-hmm. Like they, they announced, like that's basically like what he is. Um. So the, I, I did think there was a, a few shots that the animation looked really weird. I don't know. Yeah. Like where they were like that one of a uh, Ryu where his eyes were just remember that one that I pointed out with the huge eyes. Yes, I do. Nice. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. There's yeah, there's a few parts in the like in the animation that looked really weird. Like I don't know what like what like why they did it. I mean, there's some really, a couple of like really nice scenes, mm-hmm. but there was also some really really fucking yeah. weird scenes. They reminded me of those like monsters that are in um, Hero Academia, the ones that they make. Like the I forget what they're called, but like the ones that are fighters, they don't really have a whole lot of like smarts going on up there, and they're huge and super strong. Yeah, it's like the super them. buggy eyes. That's yeah. what he looked like, and that's kind of what some of the shots looked like in general. But I mean, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll see if I can try to find it like uh, uh, like later on, or if I don't know, or if Brian's able to find some some shots. But dude, I was just so caught up in all the action that I, yeah. I guess I wasn't paying attention. Cause yeah, yeah that was really I'm, a, I'm so the same good. Dude. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, the, the, you uh, imagine like how do you get this good from being a ball boy? Like, <laughs> if you think about it, part one of the season, there's no way that this should have been all he needed to transcend to the next level. You know, yeah. uh, paying attention. Uh, yeah, it helped him to watch the ball. I guess basically just watch yeah. like watch something else like in the in the, was it, basically in the game and besides just you know. Like how Brian said, like just brute strength. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, it, where it was actually just kind of like being, like just going, like paying attention to what, like what else is going on in the match. Right. Yeah, it's just it's just awareness, dude. Yeah. Like you can be as so good, right? Like you can be just hard, like hard stuck, like D two, right? Just from <laughs> mechanics alone, league reference, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> and then once you like, like purely off of just mechanics itself and just ability to just play a game your ability to perform but once you like put in those technical things that's what fucking pushes you to the next level dude and it's crazy of how big of a difference that makes just situational awareness in any sport ever will just push you so much further than just everybody's just brute strengthening it through and it's amazing and this this episode highlights that all to hinata and it's the best shit ever. yeah i I thought it was actually kind of cool like the like the they, it was like basically the final like hit was base. It was just based on a block instead mm-hmm. of like just crazy shot. I thought it was it was a uh, because that was like the one thing that they just they just could not stop were those fucking twins. Every mm-hmm. single time it seemed like they touched the ball, it just basically blew past them. Well, no, I thought it was also a nice addition to to how they would win a uh, like a big match, right? Because Kageyama and Hinata too that blocked it. Yeah, because to be honest, it was always kind of like boring to think that oh they're going to win, it's going to be Hinata and Kageyama's so like quick fast. That's going to like help them win, right? Because it's been like that for every major match that they had. Yeah, or a big and part it, of it. Right, a big part of it. So now it's like okay, I know they're going to win, but how are they going to like execute it to make it like very like epic and then yeah a double block from kageyama and hinata against a quick that they were copping off of them in general i thought that was really well done yeah so. it was so well done it was just beautiful so yeah. satisfying yeah so during during the match where even before the match like like uh before we started the episode taylor's just like i don't care what happens like i just want this shit to end and stuff like that <laughs> that was last week that was last week no, i said no, that not believer oh no, get out of here yeah. this episode started too where you ba- you were just starting to hammer the show but even before we started, I was like, "My God!" I was like, "This is like the- <laughs> this is supposed to be the end." And then during those parts, but basically, especially when Skishima went like went back, I was literally screaming. Ball. Like I was yeah. just sitting there, like, "Oh!" Yeah. And then then you basically then you see Daichi come in and basically just uh, you know just man the ball. And yeah, then, that was uh, tense. And then she was right back in. <laughs> so, oh, uh, so that was that. And, but I think there was one part. Uh, I think there was one point. I can't remember if it was actually before the episode where I was just like, you know what? It would be kind of fun to watch them lose just to see Brian's reaction. Fuck you! Oh dude. god! Like, fuck I would you. not go that far. I would not <laughs> say it's. Oh, I'd be. Let's just have them lose just to see how somebody reacts. Well, That's okay. cold. No, because the thing is, like, because if they, because re- also if like once they lose. Like it's the like the third years are done. Like that. Like that's the end. Which I feel like I probably like it would have like hit me hard as fuck too. 
but I still would like to see Brian's reaction. <laughs> it's it twisted. I know it's messed yeah. up. Yeah, it's it's not really the greatest. But I thought, yeah, you know, maybe. But I'm actually more happy with this outcome just because it's you know it's going to be finally uh, cr- uh, crossing over versus Nakama. Dude, it, and it makes you wonder too. Like, <laughs> why why could it only do this for the last two episodes? What happened to like the rest of the season? Like, what what was like? Making them not put in all this effort, or just making it as as epic as it, as it should be, right? Like this is what we were waiting for this whole three or four years for season four, and now that we 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 finally get it, it's it's the end of the season. So now we we want more, but we can't get more. They're obviously just gonna do like a cooldown episode, and then hopefully set up for a season five. But um... I really think there's gonna be a season five. I honestly just cannot picture in any world that they would leave it off with this match with Nekama and not animate it. Like, no, like I, I want it to, but as a sports anime fan, you know, usually they don't get that much love with sequels. So it, it's kind of hard. Wait. Well, I mean, isn't Haikyuu already the exception to the rule in that way? I mean, why can't it just continue being that way? Like, why would, what would be the point of going this far if you're not going to go further? Because like, you would think up. if they were going to end it, it would be at the end of the last, uh, it, you would think if they were going to end it, it would have been at season three. Yeah. Before the tournament. Oh uh, yeah, I like they have to add like more seasons to this show. This show has so mm-hmm. much hype, and oh, yeah. like it's very popular. Like, if they end it here just to create hype for the manga and have people read it, I'm gonna be fucking. Oh pissed. my god. I'm gonna be so. <laughs> I'm be so mad. So like that's, you don't know. Because, you just yeah, don't know. We don't yeah. know, no, we but do. it's like it's such a high selling point for Crunchyroll or whoever owns this, right? I feel like, and they're already like teasing. For like the next big thing, and that's the Nekoma Karasuno like match. Because even even like during the outro where everything goes, you mm-hmm. even see like they're building up to that point already, and it's right. Like they have to. Uh, I don't know. Like I said, there's there's been tons of other like hyped up sports animes where they left it at the best moment where they could have made another season, but they did it. So again, I get it that that this may be the exception, but with my experience, it's always been. Like a, like a 40 60, you know, cool. very unlikely. You're making me too nervous now, man. <laughs> Don't be nervous. Don't listen to him. <laughs> it's okay. There's no reason to be nervous yet. Wait, okay. what All other right. show, like, what other sports show did this? Uh, I Shield Niji Ichi. Uh, what? They, but that was like, that was a while ago. That was like, no, way back. Yeah. that was a while ago, but I can't, like, off the top of my head, I can't really think of like others that's that ended at like epic moment. Like, did they, did they do this with Kuroko? Did they like? not make more season for that because that was very popular uh after the second season they just did a movie but it was like their their first year so they could have kept going i guess but then they didn't really they didn't really have like this epic like lose session and then like they kept losing or they kept having to work harder right like they never ended the season at a major tournament like like this with nationals yeah. right and then they end up getting the movie with like a little bit after the tournament they fought against americans um but then, you know, that's something different. But a lot of other sports animes where they ended it like during a major tournament, like uh like Diamond O Ace, right? Uh it's a baseball anime that I that I've watched. Uh I think it stopped sometime last year or earlier this year. Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, they're they're uh they just made it to the finals or nationals, and I think they're in like the, the second or third round, and then that's where they ended the the season. So like there's tons of other animes that do really well or are really popular, but they ended at like the worst times, making you want more. And as of right now, we don't know if there's going to be like season three or. Oh god. So I just feel like there are a couple things that really make like it never even occurred to me that there wouldn't be another season until you mentioned it, Koo. Because there are just like a couple things that I feel really strongly point to it. I mean, they cast Hane Natsuki to voice that one guy who we still have barely seen. I mean, they int- they they made it a pretty. It was a pretty focused entrance. Like you were supposed to pay attention to that character, and he hasn't been in this sh- in this season like hardly at all. So he's still got to show up at some point too. And then like, like I mean, like we've been saying, why even start the tournament arc if you're not going to continue it on? And then why um, <laughs> foreshadow like the Nekama one? Like I, I don't know. If why are you guys had, laughing? If I had an answer, I would give it to you. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I just, I feel like those would be really bizarre choices to make if this is going to be the last thing you're going to animate. 
And then, like, if you want to lose a large fan base for the show, that's how you do it right there. Yeah. (laughs) No bullshit. If they stop the show after this season, never looking at anything about the show ever again. Yeah, (laughs) I agree. Totally. Uh, I don't know. You you'd be surprised. I guess it's it's anime, so. Look, look, guys. It might just if, take if, four if, years. So, if, if, do it. Oh, oh my God. God. Do we have another we're one? We're never having right? it at all. We're waiting four years. <laughs> if, if, if we do ever get one, it'll be a nice surprise. Okay, it's better to, to start low and then and then like be pleasantly surprised later than to like like have big hopes for it and then get, like just get crushed later on. Okay. What if they announce it next week, Koo? Well, that'd be great. But then what if they get delayed or canceled? Mm. Listen, uh, if they cool. announce it, they have to follow through. I'll, I'm okay <laughs> with the delay. If they ever announce a cancellation, I'm finding you, Koo, and I'm giving you, like, the <laughs> fattest <laughs> hug ever. Oh, God. Oh, like I said, this episode, yeah, this episode was great. It was, it was really good. Like, but Man. you know... Yeah. Yeah, I, I hope they, like, they, were, they do actually continue, and I would also be okay with them going back to the original you know studio or the original studio team whenever you say um, that it never happens or you can't ever count on it they usually leave I, for a reason or yeah they usually just stick with it too I, I can't really ever see like all of a sudden you just go one season with, like and just be like oh you know, let's just try this out and then you just go back to something else mm. but yeah but man all. fucking good episode though it wasn't bad Oh, wait, there was no more Oikawa. That was my one complaint. They showed oh, him in yeah. the last episode, and there was nothing of him. They had his team. They had, they had Iwaizumi there, but no o- Oikawa. So. He's, too, he's too good to hang out with his team. He's also like not a part of it anymore. <laughs> oh, he's retired, too, though. He's out of high school now, isn't he? He's a, yep. He was a year. Well, he, he's still in high school, but... These are all irrelevant things. Yeah, Why still... even bother showing him then? He's God. still in high school, but they're just their, their, ton of, their team is done, though. Right. I know. O- Oikawa, he was like the ma- he was the main guy in the in season two, Brian, that they faced against. Uh, he was like he was the center for, he was basically like the center that oh, like uh, Kageyama knew. Yeah, like the god tier center. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, it was a joke. Like no one cares. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, my bad. I didn't know. It's been so long, so I thought it could be legit. Well, sh- you know? Yeah, I know. Well, it was bad. it was more so shots fired at Taylor. Yeah. But. Yeah, I think she yeah, I know. Her. I picked up on that. Thanks, <laughs> Brian. But Trent did it, but yeah. I like how you also <laughs> sent shots about the last episode of Attack on Titan through Discord. Like, here's my last comment. We'll get to that later. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I got nothing else more. Okay. Yeah, well, that's it. I'm so, just hoping for like another season. Uh, in, you know, the at the end we'll, of we'll keep episode. an eye out for Haiku development. All right. We'll see. We'll okay, do. So that's that'll be it for Haiku, and then. Next time, Fire, Fire Force. Force. The very last time we have to talk about it for a while. Oh, so, God. I don't really have much to say oh, besides, like, this whole season felt like filler. I guess, I mean, technically, right. I guess in our format, this is, like, our review because this is the season season finale, but I have not much to say. Dude, this episode was so good, though, all right? Like, you got Benny Maru in here, just a fucking badass, just taking on Arthur and uh, uh shinra and then training them to get pushed to the point of hysteria or the death press to to obtain that level and then fucking shinra's new ability is seems so badass and then uh sasha's favorite character the the fourth captain he's, he's, he's died died that, that was so fucking that was just so dumb like, just I, died right away like, too like no no build up at all just dead yeah, yeah. it's just like i like how it was in my same like like uh like complaints where it's like the like the villains they can basically just travel, do whatever the hell they want, they get away with it. They basically can just like go wherever the hell they want, do what they want, and just just leave. Like mm-hmm. I, I just thought that whole that whole thing was just dumb. But I also thought it was kind of ridiculous how the fourth captain or like they just they just they just uh, they put down his death as uh, as suicide just because that's his thing. <laughs> no, I think yeah. it's, more, it's more. I think it's more the cover up. Like probably yeah, no, for sure, for oh, sure. Yeah, like the government is covering up. So yeah, okay, that makes more sense then. Yeah, but, yeah, that, that was just. I mean, I so I'll say cool. Like I do, like I did, I did. It was cool. I do agree that it was cool seeing like, like Shinra and Arthur getting trained. But just and even, I guess even like even um, uh, Tamaki got some in there too. But like it just felt like too late. Like it was felt like it wasn't oh, yeah, worth for this season. Yeah, definitely. I don't know the the training stuff. That it, just, it reminded me of like uh, Ultra Instinct in Dragon Ball Super. I thought like man, this shit is exactly what oh, Dragon Ball Super did. 
where they basically just they they knock you out to almost like where you have nothing left, like where you just kind of go like almost like in an unconscious state and just they just get a crazy amount of energy or power. No, and then like I, I can kind of get where they're coming from. Like it stems from I guess IRL practices as well. Uh, but yeah, like like Dave was mentioning, why couldn't they have done this in the beginning of the show or like earlier on, right? Because even with Dragon Ball Super, right? Like, yeah, Goku got Ultra Instinct like towards the end of the of the season, but they did give him a few episodes to kind of like play with it, to kind of show it off. Yeah. This one, you got this. Shinra has his awesome new ability, and by the way, like with how much, uh, like I think how much cooler Arthur would be because he is kind of like Shinra's rival. Like they're fairly equal in power. Like they didn't even showcase Arthur's new exactly, ability. Exactly. Yeah. Showcase him obtaining yeah. it, you know. Yeah. So you got you got all these cool things going on. So much potential for a new arc, and you made this the last episode. Why? Yep. Like that. That makes because <laughs> they're. Sense. It sounds like they're finally building up to finally, and because the whole theme was uniting the empire, standing against the white white clad. So it right. sounds like we're finally hitting the conclusion where it's gotta be like all out against, like the white clad. But it's like. But even still, like like the Empire is so sketchy, and they didn't like go through anything through that. They just only showed bits and pieces, because it sounds like the right. author is like he's running out of time. He just wants to get like the main conflict out of the way. He doesn't want to deal with the messy details. So yeah, like uh, yeah. I don't know. There's so many things. This is like one of the shows where they had so much stuff that was going on in the opening that never actually came to fruition. <laughs> yeah, like, it, it, basically it's the most giant like debating like book opening actually, ever. Actually, now that you say that too, Strain, like they we barely saw. I thought we were gonna at least see um, uh, Amaterasu, the girl inside it, like the first pillar yeah. or whatever. Yeah, they didn't even show it the final yeah. episode, and she's like yeah. one of the most important people. Like they yeah. kept showing her in everything, like every, like so many scenes in the opening. I not the ending, but you know, nobody watched yeah. that. But the the but the opening, oh, like they made her almost like the main point to it, and we saw nothing of her like they referenced her but that was it yeah yeah it, i don't know it was just like, oh. it was just really weird it was a it was a very weird season it was i don't know even like the the ups were not that like you know no. good <laughs> like it was just well i mean all i mean like, good, but it doesn't make up for the it wasn't the, enough like yeah. like it was yeah. cool yeah. seeing yeah. like it was cool seeing uh was it like we had besides i know for sure the joker the joker arc was like definitely the best and even before what? then we had um i think benny maru had did something i don't remember like, well it was benny maru and joker they were both together but there was nothing before then that was really cool but uh well that's it's kind of really part. strong because they were fighting um they were fighting oh god what the hell is, what that guy basically like the hype man like it seemed like we're uh, seemed like the, yeah they were they were fighting him at the beginning um i guess yeah i guess i was that, that was the one, sure. like that and like joker and benny were the only cool parts but everything else was like yeah just a drag yeah like this this is yeah. the beginning of the season seemed even, like it even, was so even, strong and promising even the last yeah. arc with like they tried i, I guess it was supposed to be maki's backstory but they barely went into it it was more like it was, terrible, it was more like her yeah. brother like disagreeing with the cat with the cat or lieutenant you know, it felt yeah it, it, really it felt so filler yeah, yeah it was it was it was bad so like okay, this whole, I mean, again so this whole season felt so filler yeah because really, it felt like almost nothing really happened. Besides, like, there's like a few people just died. Oh, and then the fuck, <laughs> fucking Juggernaut, he didn't even die. He just still, he got like limbs taken, like taken off. But he still lived. So, I mean, I don't, I don't know how much more they're gonna. So be able to again, like just ruining like the impact it, but... of like what was supposed to be his death scene. He didn't even die. It was Tamaki. I, I, I can't yeah. take any of those scenes seriously either. It's it's really bad. Like I mean, it is, but it's like this is the part where they actually tried to make an effort, or whatever, and it just came off just bad. So, yeah, I mean, yeah. this show has just been really bad with its comedy and like, uh, like serious again things. consistency. Of what I keep saying every week. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I mean, I, I, Ikebukuro did it better. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. Like this author does not. Yeah, he just under, he doesn't understand tonal shifts. So if you don't understand, you might as well just like pick pick a pick a focus and stick with it. Yeah. Which again, and it's like, and it's also like. You, you think about like the editors too, like 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 you can't just do whatever as an author. You have to, have to put it to your editor, so you have to also blame the editor for thinking all this was good. So maybe that's all I had. He's like, like is that... fuck it, we'll just do it. <laughs> we got nothing else. No, he probably saw Tamaki, and he was probably like the Tamaki was probably the editor's favorite character. So every time he saw his, okay, yeah, good enough. This is, this is great. Yeah. Send it through. Yeah. But, but... yeah. 
uh, I don't know. Uh, it looks like there's gonna be season three, and and, and guys, it looks like the the true villains are Wait, aliens. Have, have they announced the season three? Wait, were you sure about aliens? Aren't, isn't the whole point of no, Dola? Oh, okay, I was gonna say okay. because they showcased the moon at the, the moon, very end, right? Yeah. So, I don't know. Maybe yeah. maybe there's aliens. Plus, dude, the the main villain, he looks like some kind of like extraterrestrial shit, right? Like, I don't see how that's even remotely human or uh well i mean the whole point of adola is also extra di- different dimension so we should also say too like they haven't announced the third season yet they, it's, it's i mean yeah, it, they didn't it announce like... it but like they say like see you later you know matane at the ending ending yeah, yeah, card and it's like that pretty much i'm you can pretty much assume well, to be fair i'm pretty sure the end of bleach had something similar to that and it's been 10 years hey they got it <laughs> They got it. We talking about Shred. Oh, yeah. Ten years later. Yeah, they yeah, got it. Probably, uh, they got the Diablo three treatment. You know, ten years later. So. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I think, Starcraft, I think it's been Star- less, Starcraft, so Starcraft two as well. Yeah. Starcraft two. Yeah. Yeah, it's whatever. Yeah. Like, it, this know. is one of those shows I have absolutely no interest in reading. If it comes up with another season, I'll watch it. It's like yeah, I'll watch. Man, it's just fuck. It's like fucking sword art, man. It's because you guys <laughs> dragged me in this far, and then now it's like I have to finish it. Hey, I mean, well, a lot I, of I, other people like this show, so yeah. Like I, still, I don't really know how much other people like this show. I mean, people like the animation because it's by the JoJo studio. A, a lot of people like the show. From what I'm reading online, I mean, I, I think I, still, I think it's just because of the animation. I don't think it's because like gonna, the story which we're complaining about. Yeah, I mean, I'm still gonna hold hope though that they're gonna have like I mean they're gonna have I I'm hoping still like some good slash solid arcs that I would maybe be interested in. The overall show, though, I mean, it's like it's one of those I just I don't really care. I'm not mm-hmm. gonna like look into stuff and like I said, read. So yeah, but I just think uh, like I the guess. author, like he just he's yeah. I think he's just out of idea. I think he like it's he's just done. So I can see why he's I don't know. I, I just think he, he's just out of ideas or he's, re- he's, he's retiring or his he's his fine. his storytelling needs to be better. I I gave the first I gave the first season an eight and I gave this season a six. I'll probably do the same, yeah. yeah I've, even like six. Even though and I tell you why I hate scores, but here you yeah, go I know, again. I know, I know. I'm here still you go again. Say, I'm always going to say what my what my what I gave it, but uh, I mean, I basically kind of gave like a synopsis and everything of or review. You could pretty much tell what my, my score is based on what I say. So but, yeah. fair, fair. Cool. What would you give it? Uh, you know, I'd probably give like a five or a six. That's, that's good. Yeah, I, I, I was bouncing between five and six. Just because, like, it's like it's like epic moments. They're really good, but it was such a drag to watch everything else leading up to that point. Yeah, uh, and true. like the pacing of the story and the direction just gave me kind of a headache. So mm-hmm. it's kind of hard for me to kind of balance out what kind of score to give it. And based on the, like the ratings of others from online, it's kind of surprising how many people actually enjoy like everything that the show had to offer. Yeah, so. that's why I always have to. Right, it's the best. That's why I have to like just rely on my own opinions. So yeah, but I'd, I'd say like five or six, and just because for it's... yeah, I'll just say for me, like I always play story, story, character, world building, about everything else. So that's why mm-hmm. I'm much more manga and light novel than anime. So how dare you! That's why I don't pay attention to animation. Mm. What were we going to say? No, I just said, uh, hopefully season three picks up. Because uh, like I said, I really liked the last episode and I liked where they were going with it. Yeah, uh, and at a good point. So hopefully season three will do a lot better. We need to make it worth having the JoJo studio. So make mm-hmm. it worth Even though I guess they're, they're doing cells at work next season too, randomly. So. Oh, damn. I'm watching that too. So. I'm watching both <laughs> cells at work. So, so it's just they, they get the most random shows outside of Jojo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, actually, also I heard, also heard too that um, a lot of uh, ex Shaft people went over to, to the studio as well. So that's why like, Fire Force had some similarities to Shaft and Mono Guitari. So which cells at work? The cells at work black or the other one? I think they're doing both. Or, or they did the original cells at work. I assume they're doing well, both. They did. Okay. But I don't okay. know if they're doing black. So, yeah. but okay. they did they did the original thread. Sounds so. good. I'm good. I'm, I'm done with the show. Yeah. So that's our, that's <laughs> it for Fire Force. Thank God I don't have to go through that every. It was seriously like the one show I was like, like I was, what like kind of not not looking forward to. I re- like it was such a drag having to watch it yeah. before the podcast. Man, incoming third season. So Woo. I'll worry about that later. Yeah. So truth. that's gonna be it for Fire Force. So that's gonna be it for this week's episode. Um, we'll have a separate <laughs> separate piece. So, yeah. 
separate piece for Attack on Titan. Um, yep. Look forward to that. Yeah, the, the, whatever the next episode is. Yeah, so look for a separate <laughs> video. I want to thank the audience for joining me today. Thanks, guys. I want to thank the we panel for being with us this week. Thanks. It was always a lot of fun. Yeah, no problem, man. Shout, really shout like out to Stratton for hosting the past two weeks. Thank you. Because you it looks like you didn't even need me. Uh, debatable. Yeah. And yeah, that's that's <laughs> it for this week. So we'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.